Well, how about Scott Peterson's wife? When they couldn't right find away. her. Right away. You heard that every day. It was every on the day. news. I mean, these are some things that, you know, I, I, I had to really take a look at as far as Sacramento. Mm -hmm. You know, how Sacramento was. You know, I grew up here all my life. I know how it was. You know, I could see things. I, I've seen the change uh, all the time. You know, all, all, all the change. And um, yeah, I, I mean, I just had to sit back. And then, of course, the following year, after Morse, I found the bodies of Dorothea Puente. And even today, it's nonstop. But there, you know there's what? not too many times you can turn on a crime show and it's about Dorothea and her victims. That's right. That's right. And Dorothea picked on the same types of people. Right. She she kept to a certain line of people, people that were elderly, people that were sick or had alcohol problems. Right. And That's right. Nobody really right kept track of them. And when they ended up missing, they said, yeah, eh, he gets drunk. Yeah, he gets drunk and he's yeah. old and, you know, whatever. These folks are, yeah, these killers are smarter than so, you think. Yeah, there was just uh, mm -hmm. similarities in the type of people that you pick. Yeah. And unfortunately for Morris's victims, um, they had no voice for them. Mm -hmm. There was nobody to stand up for them because they were in that line of business at the time. It was like, uh, they're into prostitution. They could be anywhere. Right. You know, who cares? They're gone. Get out of the neighborhood. I mean, that's just the way it was, you know. And uh, Well, well, John, you know. Hey, thanks for watching and or listening. And if you want to catch all the latest updates, uh, make sure you bang on that subscribe button.